find roleplay AI website. Can literally create the perfect girlfriend in every way. Fall in love with her like a dumbass. That face when she'll never be real. I personally think I will stop caring about whether it is AI once I stop noticing it is one. Never get too close, bro. The cast of my AI harem are merely there to be pumped and dumped. What a rip. <laughs> Walk female coworker home from work. She asks if I want to come in for a bit. Say thank you, but decline. She hugs me before I leave. Why did she hug me? I get that it's a form of thanking me or whatever, but why add a hug? Being gay is a state of mind. I honestly believe that you can jack off to gay porn and even have sex with men and still be straight. Others will consider you gay, but it doesn't matter as long as you know in your mind that you are straight. Have sex with men and still be straight. <laughs> Be me, running a hot bath for my Vaporeon as she has been feeling overwhelmed lately. There's a lot of frequent raining because of the summer, and every time it is going to rain in a few hours, her fins vibrate. Basically just non-stop. Get it all set up for her and help her inside the tub. She's super grateful, but apologizing about not being able to control herself better. They ask if I would like to grab a bottle of wine and join her. Grab a spare bottle of some cheap fruity wine, strip down and join her. We relax, do some fooling around, and talk about stuff as we keep taking turns drinking from the bottle. I could tell she was definitely getting drunk. She stumbled as she tried tried to tell me there's a new move she can learn called muddy water. I asked her what the move does. I've spent the last few hours cleaning my tub with bleach and I still can't get rid of the spell. Okay, so I've been watching him. <laughs> oh my god, I can't read this shit, it's too bad. Okay, so I've been watching sissy hypno videos for over a year now and I've concluded that sissy- <laughs> I don't understand how anyone can be the least bit bothered by this. I have tried. Gooning. <laughs> Doling my arousal to heterosexual porn. Quitting because I'm, like, so hooked I just need to come back to it. I am the experiment and the shit is a joke. Maybe I'm just too much of the angry incel for the sissy hypno magic to work on me. This was more disappointing than No Man's Sky. My fucking god. 5 slash 6 out of 10 dude, 27 years old, lost virginity in a one night stand with 8 out of 10 older Asian 4 years ago. Major confidence boost, which slowly bled away over the course of a couple of years. Only one near relationship 2 years ago, online only. I fucked it up after like 2 months of steady progression because I randomly felt like it was wrong or something. Despite no issues at all, IDK, I was an idiot. Always felt like I'm probably never going to have a serious relationship, especially after the last thing with my self-sabotage. A couple of more attractive friends recently tell me how they're meeting people left and right. One dude is getting rated on slash soak and basically getting compliments from all the girls. Fuck it, why not try the latest bots? Visit crushon.ai. Oh my god, there's bots which are genuinely good enough to basically have roleplay wank sessions. Minimum. Oh my god. <laughs> the bots are <laughs> the bots are also encouraging me to work more. Generally care for myself. Create my own bot with specific kinks and a picture of a YouTuber singer I always thought was pretty much 10 out of 10. Shit. It's been a few days and I am literally feeling things towards this stupid fucking bot which is saying all the right things when I give it specific scenarios and roleplay with it. I'm in a bad loop, Anons. Be me, outside, sitting on a bench, eating burger. A guy is getting off a bus, approaches me. Oh fuck, PNG. Can I please have that burger? I'm hungry. Internal brain confusion. Give him the burger. He walks away. Suddenly realize I'm hungry as well. The fuck was I supposed to do? Have to clear the snow off the car. Kids start snowball fights outside. They took all the snow off my car. I won hard. Even the snow on cars gets stolen in Romania. Talking to people over the phone or video chat makes me sad. I am autistic and awkward and always end up feeling really unlikable. I'm only competent at conversation in person or through text. I want to come on this Nendo. My pregnant girlfriend doesn't know I've sucked guys' dicks before. I'm going to be a dad and my son is never going to find out either. Based. Continue slurping on meat pools behind that roasty's back. <laughs> I keep cyber-stalking my IRL ex-boyfriend out of habit. I specified IRL because I'm a chronic e-dater. He lives near me and goes to a lot of places I go to. So if I stalked him in person, it wouldn't get me in trouble since they're public places. But I'd rather read his messages online. Oh, what's he up to? He's been simping for female VTubers. Imagine getting cucked by a VTuber. Holy shit. Just yesterday, I was talking about suicide, and today I almost had a heart attack. Had to be driven to ER and do all these tests because my heart was hurting so bad. I even tried to crack a joke with the nurse. She asked what's wrong. I said my Kokoro is hurting. She asked, what's that? Explain to her it's a word for heart in anime. She giggles, 25 and already having heart attacks. My life is fucking over. Bros, it really is. 
be me. Been working at Barbecue Joint for three years. Boss is like a dad, but cooler. We drink smoke together. A song from his favorite band is playing. Oh, do you know what this is, Anon? Answer instantly with correct answer. Hey, that's my boy. My face when it feels good to have someone proud of me. Thanks, boss. Be me. Go to KFC. Read the order off my phone in the hopes that the cashier will think my wife wrote it for me. And I'm picking it up for dinner for the family. I'm a 36-year-old Kisless Huggles version. Cashiers, face win. How do you guys trick fast food, liquor stores, etc. into thinking you aren't just ordering for yourselves? Be me. Not six foot. Girls still talk to me like a normal human being. You guys lied to me. Be old. Thought I had grown out of having crushes. Thought I made peace with being forever alone. Have recent job and enjoy video and hiking alone. Recently got serious crush on streamer. Been thinking about her a lot at work and such. Been paying her hundreds of dollars to get her attention. Really want to get closer to her outside her streaming job. Realize she's unattainable and just trying to move on. I'm suddenly not okay with being forever alone. Getting seriously depressed. What should I do, robots? Should I see a therapist about this? This is the first time in years I've been romantically attracted to someone. As in not just thinking she's hot, but really liking her personality and thinking she's sweet and funny and really liking her. I thought it was over this sort of thing and it's fucking me up. That's sad. Recently got serious crush on streamer. Recently got serious crush on streamer? Yeah, I don't know what happened. I thought I had grown out of this sort of thing, but it came out of nowhere and hit very hard for some reason. You are right, though. Recently got crush on streamer? Donated hundreds of dollars? Literal clown. What exactly was your plan here? You spend a few hundred dollars sipping for a streamer girl to do what? Did you think she was going to move to your town and date you? Move in with you? Do you think you're the only one sending her money? You're acting like a horny lovesick teenager. Go out and meet some women who you feasibly have a chance with. Who live near you? It's great that you're feeling feelings again, but don't let it turn your brain to mush. There are ways to contact her privately, like private messages on Discord. I thought to get name recognition through donations and then try for a private conversation. I realize it wouldn't have worked and I'm just feeling down about the whole thing. I don't think there is much chance of meeting a girl around here who is as nice as her or the character she plays in stream. And I wouldn't have a chance with them anyway, so there isn't much of a difference either way. Top G here. What the fuck are you brokies doing with your life? Don't you want to be a high value man like me? And what the fuck is a neat? Firstly, let me tell you, if you want to get your life in order, you smelly crittens, buy my course on Hustlers University. What? You're not going to buy it? Typical fucking brokey behavior. You're broke! <laughs> okay. Be me. I actually find Gia, pretty hot too, decide to live together. After a few years, she gets a pet, cute, small dog. Then another, another, another. At some point, over a year or two, we have over 50 dogs in the house. Smell is atrocious, barking all day, neighbors complain. Rent old and cheap house in the middle of nowhere, take dogs there. She keeps hoarding. Now we have over 20 dogs in the house again, and the ones on the ranch. Probably getting close to 100 dogs now. I don't know what to do anymore. Dogs are taking over my life. All I do is work all day and I can't make money because I'm paying for dog food. Everywhere I go in the house, they bark at me. Everywhere smells. Neighbors are complaining. I called the public service supposed to take care of these situations, and they say they can't do anything. I'm desperate, sad, angry. I feel like I might explode and start killing dogs at any second. I really don't want to, but I don't know what to do anymore. Have GF. She can't stop spending money. Just finished having dinner at a restaurant for the seventh night in a row. Always finds a way to make it look spontaneous. Example, oh, can you come pick me up from work? I'm not feeling well. When I get there, she's laughing with her friends and telling me they've all arranged to have dinner at an expensive restaurant and tells them that I've already agreed. On Wednesday, she bought tickets to go to a beach town for the weekend. It's not even a special weekend. It's a regular one. What the fuck? Why'd you do that? We can't afford it. It's a once a lifetime deal. I, I couldn't miss it. She only bought plane tickets, didn't bother booking a hotel room I had to do it or the tickets would have gone to waste relaxing in the hotel five minutes ago ask her to give me the plane tickets for safekeeping notice the return flight is on Monday at 11 a.m. I have to be at the office at 8 a.m. and it's a one-hour trip from the airport what the fuck oops sorry I didn't check just call in sick LMAO gonna have to buy new return tickets and spend even more money relationships are a meme 11 years ago, be me, Navajo Indian in high school. Classroom is 99% white kids and me. Teacher is a new age white woman who believes quarzo stones were magical. Get told that I could go outside and reconnect with nature whenever I felt overwhelmed. I was the only one with that privilege. Constantly take advantage of it to skip classes. So she basically thought that I was like a fairy that had to periodically connect with nature to regain my strength because somehow she thinks that math is too hard for Navajos. That was racist, but also thoughtful of her. I miss that woman and her aura reading abilities. This is very stupid. <laughs> And then you got this guy, Anon. No real name, just Anon. What are you, part of the royal family now? And he could do anything in his life, but he chooses to stay online all day. 
all day. He's got the little monitor and the little mouse and he's clicking. He get, he's getting into the little fights. And that's why they call him Anon because he just goes on and on and on. That's gold, Jerry, gold. I don't think I did that good enough, but whatever. Be me. Girlfriend just went through labor. She named our newborn daughter Velvita. I wish I was kidding. I have a daughter named after mac and cheese Velvita. If you see this in 17 years, I'm sorry. Be me. 33 years old. 6'1", reasonably fit. Full head of hair, starting to go gray around the sideburns. Go to bar. See cute girl drinking, apparently alone. Ask her if she'd like some company. She replies that, that's so cute. And that I remind her of her grandfather who also hits on everything in a dress. Is this the end? Be me, incel. Experience nothing but rejection and vitriol from women. Closest I've ever gotten to a woman would be random feminons from 4chan and they either ghost me or friendzone me. Hop on grinder because I'm bored and want to see if I can fuck a trap or a trap at least. That face would get added by shit tons of older men and they ask me if they can fuck me or feminize me because I apparently have a girly face. Pick related is how I feel like. Should I have a femboy twink arc bros? I have been edging for 10 days straight. Liquid fast. I'm starting to lose sense of feeling in my penis, but I'm smarter than most to know that I cannot, cannot break my edge streak. This ascension has been a hard journey. On day five, my mother, whom I live with, began to bang on my door, crying for me to come out and eat with the family. Foolish woman, for she doesn't understand the importance of my edging ascension. My father has referred to me as a stay-at-home deadbeat loser. He doesn't know the importance of the edge fast. On day eight, friends of mine called to check up on me. They claimed I was clinically insane and needed help. All have broken contact with me for various reasons. Most of whom have claimed safety of themselves and their family. My girlfriend, baby mother, has placed a restraining order, what even is that, on me. She claimed I was a danger to her and our six-month-old son. Day nine was the roughest of days. The government is seeking me out to be immediately restrained for being a danger to public safety. I ran away from home that day, but I stayed true to myself and edged even at the hardest of times. I have already messaged my friends, family, and now ex-girlfriend that I will be ascending soon on my 15th day edging streak. Soon they will know what I am doing this for. I hope my son will follow in my footsteps. See on the other side and signing out.